Hey everyone, this is Beady Boo, playing more Majora's Mask. Uh, last time we got to this Stone Tower Temple sort of place, and we had a bit of trouble, but this time I think it's going to go a bit better because I don't know why. But, we have a stray fairy in here somewhere, so let's try and find it. Okay, what's down in the water? Probably death. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's one of those things that I'm going to be incredibly vague about. Okay, I guess we need the Zora Mess to get under the water. Because that would make a bit of sense. Hey, you're one of those. I don't really feel like dealing with you right now. Uh, are we supposed to get up here yet? Well, regardless of whether or not we are supposed to. Oh, oh wait. I forget. Can we do this? Yay! Okay, cool. So, he can't hit us. But we can certainly hit him. And we can hit this... The, uh... I don't know what it's called. Uh... Oh, come on. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Switch. Anyway, we got a small key. We healed. Got some arrows. whoop de doo uh, There's still a fairy in here. I'm going to guess he's in that chest that we just opened, but we can't get to it yet because there's a light block in the way. And there are no convenient sources of light other than the sun, which apparently doesn't count. So... Instead of going to get that, we're going to go through this wibbly wobbly timey wimey tunnel. And let's see if we can't kill everything here and possibly make another chest appear. Okay, come here, little bio baba or whatever you're called. Come on, die. Die. Thank you for dying. Okay, um, well there is a chest there, and we can make these things explode just by making them touch. Although apparently only two at a time can actually do it. Oh, that makes an upside down chest. Now how are we supposed to get that? Come here, fish. Fish. Okay. Um, okay, there's a little face there. What else is there around here? There's some other upside down stuff. What is with all this upside down stuff? We have absolutely no possible way of getting all that. Okay, so. Whoa, Link. Hmm. Okay, so we're up on this platform. Uh, I hear a bomb chew somewhere. Oh, can we hit that? Probably. Let's find out. Okay. Yes, we can. What does it do, though? Uh, oh, it creates another upside-down chest. This game and its upside-down chests. Okay, so... Now, with these mirrors, you shine it on for you know, 10 or so seconds, and then, physics defiantly, it will continue to shine for quite some time. Just enough for you to do that, and I believe that leads back to the main room, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. However, there is this, which probably contains either the dungeon map or the compass. I don't know which one, because as I've already proven today, or yesterday, I guess, I have no idea about any of this dungeon, but just make sure, yes, main room, okay. So. Uh, shoot. He's gonna come right towards me, isn't he? Boom. Okay, so. Now I guess we want to just go into that locked door, since we can't really do anything right yet. And... We get here, so uh, we will want to be grown on Link, and with the mispronounced rock creature, we're gonna see a little black bow over there. 
he's gonna get in our way, isn't he? Come on, Black Bows. Die. Okay, cool. Okay, so, we can do all this. Probably gonna speed through this. Oh, got something. Treasure chest, probably going to be a stray fairy. What else can we get? Nothing. Oh well. Haha, <laughs> just got it in time. And what's over here? Oh, there is a... Oh, crap. I just walked right into that. Got a bomb floating above my head. Got a third stray fairy. Okay, where do you guys keep coming from? Sheesh. Got a fourth stray fairy. That was really difficult. Okay, so... Now we get the most complicated puzzle in the game. These stupid things. Oh, come on, where do they all come from? They just continuously appear. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to do this to make it slightly easier since there are no more. Gameplay! Okay, that was slightly more difficult than it needed to be. But, whatever. Get a red rupee, that's pretty cool. What do we get in this one? Another red rupee, wow, the game just loves giving me money today. What's through this door? Who knows, it looks like death is through this door, but instead of death, we're gonna try not to do death. We are gonna try to, um, be a DQ. Deku, 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 Deku. Who cares what it's actually called? Because I don't. Come on. And yes, we get what? What is that? Thirty-three rupees, and we also get a uh, fifth straight fairy. Oh wow, that's all. And I saw a switch down there in the lava, which conveniently can only be pressed with the one character that can survive in Searing Hot Magma. Okay, so that does that. And I know where that switch is because this is one of the more annoying things to do. All you gotta do is press it and a s one over there is uncovered, and I believe that will stay uncovered for until you leave the room, so I'm in no danger of losing it. Okay, so, we have unlocked that treasure chest, which I'm going to blindly assume is yet another stray fairy, which we have had a serious lack of so far. And we are going to instead... Just head for the nearest updraft. Come on, Deku Link. Come on, Woody. Woody Mick Woodster. No! Haha, <laughs> burn. Please say that. Yeah, okay, the chest is still good. Oh, and I didn't actually lose any health for that. That's. Amazing. So we get another chance. Okay, let's try something smart this time. Yes, intelligence. 
Come on. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, theoretically, this should be stray fairy number six. Yes, it is. Okay. Suspicious pots giving us rupees. Oops. Oh, I got the rupee. Uh, what's in here? Oh my god. Cutscene. And you are... You are Bowser from Hotel Mario. That is who you are. Okay, okay so what you want to do is not do that. Okay. Come on. Attack me. Ow. Oh, I am my own fire. I should be on fire. Ow. I'm still again on fire. Okay, why do I keep letting him hit me? Whatever. He's dead now. And it shall rearrange things if you shoot something. Do not forget these words. Yes. The law of us Garrows is to explode into a million pieces. It's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Shoving your face through a treasure chest link? And inside that treasure chest we get the light arrow. The light of justice shall smite the mighty smiters. Or something. Uh, so yeah. Light arrows do a bit more damage for three times the amount of uh, magic. Mostly useless for combat, although there are a few applications which I'll show. As they become relevant, that was pretty cool. Uh, what is down here? Did I just come down here for absolutely no reason? Of course I did. Okay, so how do I get back up? Oh, wow. Um... Did I mess up here? Ow. Do, 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 do. What the heck? Okay. Why can't I take out the hook shot? What the heck? What the heck? Why can't I take out the hook shot? What the hell? I can take that out. What the hell? Link, take out the goddamn hook shot. I am. What is wrong with you? Why won't you take out the hook shot? How the heck do I get back up? Please don't tell me I'm stuck and I have to go through all that again. Oh, come on. There's got to be a way to get up. There's no way up. Link, you have the perfect p facial expression for that. <sighs> Wonderful. Time to get back to... What? Okay, I think there's just something glitched up with my game, so... I, I'm gonna have to stop it for now, and I, I'm gonna have to do everything all over again, so... Whatever. Okay, um, I'm back. Apparently, that was just a glitch with the emulator. I'm not sure why, but as soon as I got the light arrows, I was completely unable to use items. Um, just exiting the stone tower by... Well, the boss door led to a door, and going through that room, which is the one I fell in, leads to that barred door right over there. Um, so then I went out Stone Tower, and I could use items again. So, hopefully that doesn't happen again, and I'm going to make a save state just in case. 
Okay. So, going back in here, I believe, will allow us to get an item or two. Come on, stupid thing. Explode. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about you. Um... I believe it's down here that we need to go. Okay, no. Sink. Sink, you fish, stupid thing. Fish. 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 Okay, so. Uh, yeah, it's over there, isn't it? Thank you, fish. Whatever. Come on, fish. Okay, so. We want to go up here. And right here, we have this. Um, whatever. Uh, we have a light block that we can destroy. And... We can kill that guy. He goes boom. We get 20 rupees. And we also get our 7th stray fairy. Okay. Um, I believe that is all we can do in the tower for now. Um, so I will head back to the beginning of the dungeon. And I just went the wrong way. Uh, well, actually, there's a chest there. Let me see if I can't get that chest. No, Link, you stop. I pressed up. Do I did I get that? I got that. Where's the chest? Um... Okay. I guess it must be in there. Okay, so yeah. Beginning of the dungeon. Okay, we gotta go back out. And since we can't... Okay. Instead of doing all those block things, we're going to just warp to Stone Tower to get across. Mm, where's Stone Tower? Okay. Okay, now that we're here, what we're going to do is, of course, play the Elegy of Emptiness. Get some Ben 10 action or something. And then we're gonna try to do a spin attack and I'm gonna fail miserably. So, with that there, we need to do one more. <laughs> anyway, um, going to summon George Takai here. Or something, I don't know. Switch is halfway pressed, and... Yay! I did something. Okay, so... With those out of the way... What we can do is... Go here... And equip the light arrows... And get ready... For some trippy flippy. Or a hook shot. Or I could just completely miss. Yay! There we go. Ugh. And with that, Link's like, whoa, where'd gravity go? And now we are in the inverted stone tower temple. Where falling down is the same as falling up, which basically means you fall into the sky and then die. So let's go check out our newly discovered place of complete and utter carnage, and, yep, Stone Tower Temple, only this time, we are on the roof, and, 
considering I had actually let me do something real quick. Um I know there was a there's a chest somewhere. Uh can I not get to it yet? I don't know. If I can't get to it then I'll just end it off right here. Um yeah, okay, uh, I'm gonna end off the video here, um, since we had that little bit of a debacle with a glitch, um, next time we are going to explore this inverted stone tower temple and hopefully not run into any more game-breaking bugs that would cause me to quit the emulator. So, this has been Beady Boo playing Majora's Mask. See you all next time.